Did you know that your hands are your best instruments for measuring your food? That's because they come with you everywhere you go. So if you understand the fundamental principles of using your hands as a way to measure your food, you are going to set yourself up for success. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is using your hands together. Cupping your hands together like this, this is the amount that your body can handle, your stomach can handle um, the volume. So if you want to measure it out, feel free to do so. What I had my husband do was I cupped my hands like this and we, we picked out some just dried lentils or dried rice and we scooped it in in quarter cup amounts until my hand was full not bulging full but just comfortably full okay it was kind of like a nice even layer things weren't spilling out anything like that mine for me was about a cup and a half so that tells me when i am eating food the volume that my body needs to sustain itself is about a cup and actually it was a cup and a quarter i said a cup and a half it's about a cup and a quarter now my husband when we did this for him his was about two cups Okay, it was actually closer to two and a quarter cups. So visually, when we're looking at a plate, we can gauge how much that is, okay? But we're gonna break it down a little bit more for you. Um, the next thing is using your hand. This is gonna help you visually um, set your plate up better. So the first thing that we're gonna talk about is a flat hand, okay? This flat hand is about how much um, fruits or veggies that you need on your plate okay so same thickness right and this is going to be about half of your plate especially if you're using the right size plate which I recommend using about a six to seven inch um, plate okay so that's going to be half of your plate now the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to want a lean protein source now that is going to be the size of the palm of your hand and also the thickness Okay, so for me, this is about three to four ounces, and that is a perfect amount for me. Um, now, if you cup your hand, just one cup, and put in, again, like a dry grain, um, that's going to tell you the volume of your carbohydrates. Okay, so that can be brown rice, quinoa. Um, lentils anything like that okay and again for me it's about a quarter cup okay so now we have our fruits and veggies we have our lean protein and then we also have our um, carbohydrates now the next thing we want to include is a healthy source of fat that can be avocados that can be oil that could be butter that could be um, seeds nuts anything like that okay and that's going to be about the volume of your thumb okay so for me this is going to be about a tablespoon or so um, I actually use a little bit less unless it is a whole food source like so if we're talking butter or oil um, about a tablespoon for everything and again I use a little bit less um, for like my portion sizes and stuff but if I'm eating avocados if I'm doing something um, like seeds or anything like that that'll be about how much I'm going to put on my salad or as a side dish. Um, I hope that helps you guys. There's a document that you guys can refer to to get more information.